My name is David Rasmussen, and I am a furniture maker. Last winter, my shop in Carbondale, Colorado burnt down. The water from the hoses froze as they tried to stop the flames. It was 4 a.m. and barely 5 degrees out on an early November night, and I could barely stand as my eyes watched the flames engulfing a space so many of my dreams were tied to. Felt like my career was over. They still don't know the cause. It was an electrical fire, most likely. It felt like I lost someone I loved. A pile of tools, an old barrel, not much was left. A hundred thousand dollars worth of tools, equipment, and handmade furniture, all gone. And I didn't have it insured. Mistakes happen, and sometimes we pay for them dearly. As time has passed, I've realized that I haven't lost everything. That I still have my hands, my mind, and the momentum I've been gaining. It's from inside that the ideas are sketched, the lines made smooth and shaped into designs that drive my existence. From the lines that flow into curves becomes something real, tangible, functional. I've been passionate about making things since I was about 14 years old, but I didn't realize my path as a furniture designer until I started my business about five years ago. Taking an idea through to its execution isn't the usual path for designers of high-end furniture, but every step of the process inspires me. I'm inspired by a lot of different sources from pop culture to materials. I'd call my style sort of a postmodern mid-century mix. The piece that I'm working on now is made from burnt pieces of wood from the fire. There's something powerful in this, in taking something out of the ashes to build something new. Maybe someday I'll look at these months and see only the positive reflected back at me, because then, then I'll know where this is leading me, but right now it's hard to see without having rebuilt yet, without having started anew yet. I'd like for my work to be more affordable and accessible. I've been moving in the direction of making products, standardizing some of my designs so that I can produce more of them. I'm going to use this tragedy as an opportunity to rebuild my shop for making products. I've received a lot of positive reviews for my work and one day I want to expand to have my own design store, maybe in Aspen or even New York. Dreaming big, why dream small, right? I'm doing what I can to raise funds. I had an art auction a little while ago and I'm going after grants. I've been working out of a friend shop, but it's a temporary solution. To set up my shop again, it cost around $100,000. That'd be with used equipment from auctions that would need to be fixed up. If you support me in this, I'll make you something really beautiful. We've got a lot of awesome kickbacks, from wood plates to sofas. Check them out.